So can, can you guys uh, tell me what brings you out on this cold morning? You want to go first? Go ahead. Okay, for me, um, I'm here in solidarity with the ILWU and their struggle with PGT and all labor rights uh, issues. I, I'm standing in solidarity with unions around the globe that are being quashed. I'm standing in solidarity with um, anyone fighting for human rights. I'm standing in solidarity with Occupy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's why I'm here. Well, and well, to send a message directly to the 1% that says, if you do not listen to the will of the people, you will not be doing business here. But why is this like important at all? Huh? Why is this important at all? Should we just be at home, you know, watching football? Uh, <laughs> the fact of the matter is this economy has created a class of young people from 18 to 30 that can't get jobs. They have the yes. highest percent of unemployment in this country. That's why we're here fighting. And, and it can be, and I think it also can be argued that that apathy that we've been, I think, faced with for so long is constructed apathy because of consumerism, because of capitalism, because of the dumbing down of senses and sort of awareness. And so, um, I don't know. Yeah, I think that it also discredits the intelligence of a lot of people who are very aware of issues. And I'm not talking about educated youth. I'm talking about all all youth. I mean, I mean, I think that's what. It's frustrating about the, the portrayal of our camps as being these refuge places for homeless people and that these people are uneducated and don't understand any of the, anything about issues when they're the most first. They have the most understanding of, of how they're exploited and how they're suppressed in our society and they know their rights and they understand them and they will share them if you just take the time to talk to them and look at them as people and not as a problem or, or something that needs to be fixed. Our planet is crying out for help. Our people are crying out for help, and if we do not answer those calls, we lose as a collective race of individuals, right? We need to take care of this now. I heard a really beautiful metaphor about the whole Occupy movement and what it's trying to do. And this man said, it was a man and his son, it's actually great. The man said, the way I see it is America uh, emerged as a caterpillar from its egg sac, it ate its egg sac, it ate the leaf that the sac was on, it ate the branch, it ate the tree, and now there's nothing left. So now the only option for America is to go into a cocoon and think about what it's done, meditate, emerge as a butterfly, and repollinate everything it took. The sun, on the other hand, said, America's the head of the snake. Cut off the head of the snake. <laughs> so I was like, both are valid points. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, thank thank you. Have a great day. Solidarity. Right, don't get too dizzy. Thank you.